to me with math. Today we're going to look at probability of or problems that are dependent. Okay, so here's our situation. Bob has several shirts of different colors. In a box he has two yellow with pockets, two red, that means without pockets, four white shirts with pockets, and then two plain black shirts. What is the probability of randomly picking a white shirt or a black shirt? Okay, since this is an or problem, and I like to actually circle that to remind myself, or means I'm going to add my probabilities together. So let's find the probability of picking the white shirt and then picking the black shirt. Okay, picking a white shirt, well the probability of white, let's see, I have four white out of how many? Well, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. So I have four out of ten that are white. So that's the probability of event A happening. And what's the probability of the second event happening or choosing a black shirt? Well, black shirt, I have two black shirts out of ten. So I'm just going to add those probabilities together. Now I have to think. Is there any overlap between white shirts and black shirts? And there aren't. They're two separate um, types of shirts. There's no overlap. So I'm just going to add my probabilities together and I get six tenths or three fifths. So that's my probability of choosing a white shirt or a black shirt. Okay, now let's look at one that has a little bit of overlap. Okay, so now we're going to look at what is the probability of choosing a white shirt or a shirt with a pocket. Okay, so we've got our two probabilities again. We're going to do the probability of A, which is the same. It's still the white shirts. So I still have the probability of the first event happening, which is white shirt, four tenths. But this time I'm going to add to it, because it's an or problem, a shirt with a pocket. Well, how many shirts have pockets? Well, two yellows have pockets and four whites have pockets so together that makes how many with pockets six tenths but I have some overlap okay how many are in both groups are both white and have pockets well white and have pockets those that that accounts for four tenths of them so I have to subtract off that overlap so let's go through and add this all up that's 4 plus 6 is 10 tenths, minus 4 tenths, we're back to 6 tenths, so the probability of that occurring would be 3 fifths. And that's how you would figure that one out. So I hope this video was helpful on the probability of or dependent events occurring, and here you go.